Greetings and welcome to today's lesson. In today's lesson, we are looking at even and odds on page 67. Now up here says that there are two groups of students in each classroom. Okay, so here's one group. Here's another group. The teacher says, students, pair up and get ready for an activity. Now, in which group will there be a student working alone? How can you find out? Okay, so here, they've taken these students and look. Here's two girls who are paired up together. Here are two boys that are paired up together. And here's two students who are paired up together. So here, we see that they're all in pairs, right? There's two for each group. So this is an even number, meaning there's when you put them in groups of two, there are none left out. So six is an even number. Here though, notice that these two students work together, these two students work together, and this one doesn't have a partner, right? He's left all out. And when because there's a student who's left out, that means that we can't put them in the pairs. And if you can't put it into pairs, that means it is an odd. So five is an odd number, All right? So even numbers can be made into pairs or groups of two, while odd numbers can't. So here's a group of two, a group of two, a group of two. That means it's even. Five, a group of two, a group of two. Oh, can't make a group of two. That's odd. Right, so let's write that. Even numbers make groups of two while odds or odd numbers cannot. So, even numbers make groups of two, odd numbers cannot. All right, so let's go look at page 68. All right, how many students are there in your class? We don't have a class that we can look at, so we're going to skip over this activity. All right, so here, circle groups of two. Is 10 an even number? All right, so let's see. So here's a group of two. Group of two, group of two, group of two, group of two. Well, look at that. Ten is an even number, all right? Because there's none left over. All right? And what's interesting here, then, is what we see here is how many groups are there here? There are five groups. Of two. Five times two equals ten. Right? Okay, let's look at the next one. Right? Here, another way of thinking about it is we can have two equal groups. Right? So here, instead of having five groups of two, now we have two groups of five. Right? So what multiplication sentence would this one be? This would be 2 times 5, right? 2 times 5. All right, so here is 13 an odd or an even. Okay, let's see. Let's do groups of 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And notice here there's one left over. Right? So it cannot be broken into groups of two. It also can't be broken into two even groups. Right? So let's look at this. So here and here are two groups of the same size, right? But here this one's all by itself. Okay? And that means that this is an odd odd number because it can't be broken into two to groups of two or to two even groups one group when there's one too many right what about this one notice here 
here and here match up, here and here match up, here and here match up, here and here match up. They all match up, right? There's not an extra one. That means that eight is an even number. Right? And what problem do we see here? Well, we could say there are two groups of four, two times four, or we could say there are four groups of two, four times two, right? But either way, we can see that they have it's even, even amount of number. They have two, they have the same amount on both sides. What about 11 though? Yeah, 11 doesn't work because there's this extra one hanging off. It's all by itself. So 11 is an odd number. All right, let's look at page 60, 70. All right, so um, we won't be using the blocks, but we can draw, right? Use two even numbers less than 10. Or show two numbers, show two odd numbers less than 10. Use the numbers to, uh, the numbers you form to find the following. What happens when you add two even numbers? What happens when you add two odd numbers? What happens when you add an even and an odd, okay? All right, so let's see here. What are some even numbers? One, two, one, two. Okay, so that's even. So four, we'll make this our even category. And let's do another one. One, two, so you could just use two. But let's go a little bit bigger. Let's make a six, okay? So there's our even numbers. Now let's find some odd numbers. Let's go one, two, but then let's have just one extra one, right? So we can't, not a group of two. So that one's going to be three. And then let's do, let's do five like that. Okay, and so there's an extra one there. Not in groups of two, so that's an extra one, so five. All right, now let's add our two even numbers together. What is four and six? Four plus six equals what? What's four plus six equal? Four plus six equals 10. Now let's see if 10's an even number. So let's do my four. Now let's do my six. And what do we see? Four plus six equaled what? Four plus six equaled an even. So even. All right? Now let's do an odd number plus an odd number. Let's do three plus five. Three plus five equals what? Three plus five equals eight. Now let's see. So one, two, three, and then I got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there, hmm. but what I notice here, let's take this one and put it right there. And what do you notice now? Yeah, now you notice that they all match up, right? And so that means it is even, okay? Now let's do, we don't have a lot of space down here, but let's do an even and an odd. So what numbers we wanna go with? Let's just do the four and the three, okay? Four plus three equals what? Four plus three equals seven. So one, two, three, four, plus one, two, three. And look here, they don't match up. Oops, I forgot to finish my word even here. They don't match up, right? There's that one extra one. So that means that it equals an odd. So, here, let's go up here to the top. We have some space. Even plus even equals what? Even plus even equals even. Right? What about odd plus odd? Odd plus odd equals even. 
And what about even plus odd? Even plus odd equals odd. Right? So that'll help you because now you can know, oh, if I'm adding these numbers together, right? Now that means that. Now, what do we notice about even numbers? We know that two is an even number. We know that four is an even number. We know that six is an even number. We know that eight is an even number, right? And we know that 10 is an even number. What do you notice about these numbers? We're counting by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So what do you think the next one would be? Twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, right? Now, what do you notice about these numbers? Two and two, four and four, six and six. 8 and 8, 0 and 0, right? So, we don't have a lot of space on this page. Let's write up here, even numbers. Let's use the sign for numbers. Even numbers end in 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. Odd numbers. And in what then? Well, the ones that aren't that. So what's not that? So a 1, a 3, a 5, a 7, or 9. Right? So that's one way to do it. You can memorize, oh, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. So that's a 0. It ends in a 0. Those are even numbers. So any number that ends in that number is going to be even. Whereas 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9, those don't. Those aren't even numbers, and so those have to be odd numbers. Okay? All right, so now let's go ahead and turn to page. All right, so on page 71, and you're going to do your practice on your own. Okay, do page 71, page 72, page 73, and page 74 independently. All right. Go ahead and complete that, and then come back when you're ready for a review. All right, so have you ever finished this? So here we want to circle the groups that have even numbers of objects. So here these two match up, and these two match up, but this one's left over. So five does not work. Right here, this one matches, this one matches, this one matches, this one is left over. So seven does not work. These are not even, right? These are odd. Here and here, those two match up perfectly. So four is even. All right, circle the groups that has an odd number. All right, so we're match up, match up, match up, match up, match up, match up. So here, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 does not work. It is even. All right? Here, we have match up, match up, match up, match up, match up. Okay? So this doesn't work. How many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is 10, and it is even. All right? And here we have match up, match up, match up, match up. Oh, an extra one all by itself. This is nine and it is odd. And that one does work. All right, let's look at page 72. All right? So circle the even um, or circle the odd numbers. Okay, so here notice that 12, they all match up perfectly. That one doesn't, so that one's the odd one. Here, do they all match up evenly? Uh-uh, 
Nope, they can't form groups of two. So that's our odd one. Here, a whole bunch of groups of two. Oh, one's left over. So that is our odd one. And notice what these end in. End in a one, five, and nine. Because they're not, they don't end in two, four, six, eight, or zero. So that's how we can know they're odd. All right, so let's go to page 73. All right, so 16 is equal to what? Eight plus eight, right? Because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have two groups of eight, right? And if you have two equal groups, that makes the number even. And how could we solve this? Instead of using addition, we could do what? We could do, how many groups do we have? One, two, two groups of eight. Two times eight equals 16. All right, what about this one? Here we have two groups of 10. So 10 plus 10, and that means that both groups are even. There's two groups that are even, and that means it's an even number, All right? And we could solve this by two groups of 10, two times 10, and what's two times 10? Two times 10 is 20. All right, now, what is 17? Nine plus what equals 17? Nine plus eight, right? And notice here, there's two equal groups. This one is left over, okay? So 17 is what? 17 is an odd, because there's one left over when we make two equal groups. All right, let's turn to page 74. All right, true or false, seven is an odd number. Well, here we see one and two, one and two, two groups of two, but there's one left over, so it is going to be an odd number. 14, we see that we have all groups of two. Every group is a group of two, and that means it's an even number. 17, group of two, group of two, group of two, all the way down here, but then we have one group left over, or one, not one group, but one left over, so it is odd. And again, we can remember, even, two, four, six, eight, and zero, odd, one, three, five, seven, and nine. And look at this, seven plus seven, so both of those go to, to there, so both of those are odds. Four goes to there, even, even. All right, let's look at the last one. Noelle says that she can tell if a number is even or odd by looking at the digit in the tens place. Do you agree? All right, so in the tens place. So let's look at the number um, 23. Let's look at the number 22. Tens place, tens place. Is 23 even or odd? 23 is going to be what? It's going to be odd, isn't it? Okay, because it ends in a 3, and a 3 is odd. What about 22? This one's going to be even, right? Because 22 has the ends in a 2, and it's a 2, right? So do we agree? No. You can tell by looking at the digit in the ones place. Not the tens place. All right. Well, that is all we have for today. I hope you have a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.